So how much vitamin D are we really supposed to be getting to prevent disease? At least ones related to vitamin D deficiency. Well, you may be surprised the government or the International Office of Medicine and the National Academy of Sciences made a little tiny mathematical error. Actually, obviously, it was a big error. The actual amount that scientists are pleading with governments to change to the accurate amount is 7,000 IUs per day. Now, even though 7,000 IUs per day sounds like a big number, in reality, it's not. And nowhere near as big compared to the error that was made by certain bureaucratic institutions. So 7,000 IUs a day, how did they come to that conclusion? Well, let's begin looking at the research titles and the citation titles. Public release title, recommendation for vitamin D intake was miscalculated. That's just putting it politely. The citation title, a statistical error in the estimation of the recommended daily allowance for vitamin D published in the Journal of Nutrients this March 2015. And let's proceed to how the researchers came to this conclusion. First, let's quote the research. So both these studies suggest that the International Office of Medicine underestimated the requirements substantially. Understatement. The error has broad implications for public health regarding disease prevention and achieving the stated goal of ensuring that the whole population has enough vitamin D to maintain bone health. Obviously, we both know bone health is just part of it. Depression, blood pressure, you name it. So basically, the recommendation that they made, the International Office of Medicine and the other ones that recommended that 600 IUs per day, was actually enough to really do not much of anything except perpetuate this disease is related to vitamin D deficiency. But I proceed. The recommended intake of vitamin D specified by the IOM is 600 IUs a day if you're below the age of 70, 800 IUs a day if you're above the age of 70. The calculations used by us and other researchers showing that these doses Ready for this? This is how far off they were. I mean, thank goodness it's not working in like NASA or wherever it is. Were one tenth that needed to cut the incidences of disease related to vitamin D deficiency. And if you want to see the statistical uh, errors that they made, I'll always post the uh, citation down so you can review it yourself, especially mathematicians out there. The regression line revealed that 600 IUs of vitamin D per day achieves that 97.5% of individuals will have serum levels of vitamin D, adequate levels in the blood, otherwise known as 25 OHD, values above 26.8 nanomoles. All right, so what does that mean to you? 26.8 on average uh, nanomoles of vitamin D in the blood. How much do I actually need? Well, you really need, according to researchers, 50 nanomoles. So, basically, again, they were off not only the recommendations of vitamin D, just they gave you just enough vitamin D to get you halfway to, prevent, to, to preventing these the vitamin D-related deficiencies. All right, so we keep on going. How much vitamin D is actually required to get to the uh, medically recommended amount? 8,895 IUs per day. So. That's just to get the 50 nanomoles a liter, and that's 8,895, and they're recommending 600 IUs per day, when you should be getting 8,895 IUs per day for at least 97.5% of the population to get the blood levels of vitamin D to where it needs to be. So that's a big oops. But let us proceed. We call for the National Academy of Sciences in the, in the International Office of Medicine and all public health authorities with transmitting accurate nutritional information to the public to designate that the RDA of vitamin D should be 7,000 IUs from all sources. This is well below uh, the upper slave limit, which is 10,000 IUs per day. 10,000 IUs sounds like a big number, but let's proceed. Keep in mind, so this is what the researchers and scientists and, and the medical communities uh, requesting that bureaucrats change the RDA to. It's now, what, March 20th, Let's 2015? Let's see how long did it actually take before this change occurs. So 10,000 IUs, big number, but let us put this in a little bit of perspective. 1,000 IUs, international units of vitamin D, equals 0 0.025 micrograms. That means 10,000 IUs equals 0.25 micrograms. So it's still a fourth of a microgram. 
and let's put it in average consumption to, let's say, sugar. The average adult consumes 77 grams of sugar per day. So you take 77 grams and 1,000 milligrams in a gram, 77 times 1,000 equals 77,000 milligrams. 1,000 micrograms in a milligram, you multiply those together, you get 77 million micrograms. Or, you ready for this? Here we go. 77 million micrograms divided by 0.25 micrograms. Remember, that's the equivalent of 10,000 I use of vitamin D. So that means that the average U.S. adult consumes 308 million times more sugar a day than the upper safe limit of vitamin D. I hope that gives you a little bit of perspective of how little 10,000 IUs actually is. Big number, reality, micro amount. Again, Ralph Church Channel, signing off, and I really hope this helps you because now if you can get up to the recommended daily allowance of what researchers are saying it should be, that can really prevent a lot of misery in the future. Again, Ralph Church Channel, signing off, and I hope this helps.